I'm finally getting around to editing the video for the Volvo five cylinder uh, valve clearance adjustment. So hopefully everybody finds it useful. It's actually a really easy procedure. So what we're going to do today, we're going to measure the clearance on these bucket style lifters. So this is a cam over bucket. Okay. Buckets directly over the valve, right? There is no uh, rocker arm, no kind of, no kind of adjustment going on here at the head. But the first thing is uh, that I would like, like to talk about is how to measure the clearance. So let's talk about what just right is. And I learned this from uh, my machinist mentor. And, you know, he was also a, you know, kind of an auto mechanic on the side. That's what really got him into being a machinist. And he showed me this one. So I have got an eight thousandths clearance thickness gauge, feeler gauge, all right? And I've got an old, very accurate analog Starrett micrometer. So what I'm gonna do is, I am going to get right down to my eight thousandths of measurement on the nose, okay? And that is what just right is because I'm on my thickness gauge, I'm at exactly eight thousandths of an inch, and that's a great way to learn the feel. I'm not one where I feel like we have to replace parts every time we do some type of a build. When I look at a part, and we talked about this before when we looked at the pistons, is the feel is the most important. You know, we're looking at the wear, and we can't have any kind of edges. You know, I've said this before, if we can feel an edge, the engine can feel the edge, and it's gonna leave a score, and it's gonna damage engine components. So let's talk about laying out for this valve adjustment, all, all that stuff aside, okay? It is really not complicated. You can put together a simple system like this where uh, all I do is I'll get a piece of paper, cardboard, lay it out, okay? I'll take all the, you know, all the lifters out of the head, roughly in the location it came out of. I have no idea if someone had missed that, mixed them up before or not. I'm not gonna take that chance. Um, I would rather deal with this once, get all my clearances nice. Nothing's more embarrassing than building a you know nice new high performance engine, okay? And the thing's tapping away and you got a damn valve tap. You sound like a clown, you know? So I'm gonna take the time and do the adjustment. So we take all our lifters out, we'll lay them out on paper here, and then I'll go to each lifter and I will take a measurement, okay? And I'll measure up the lifter. All right, and this one, let's give them a little wiggle. If there's any kind of oil in there, squeeze the oil out from under it, okay? So I got this lifter, it's like 16.1 millimeters, all right? And I'll put that down and I'll write the measurement down on the piece of paper, okay? So that's a base measurement. Once we get them all laid out with the measurements, right? Now we're gonna check them. So let's take a look at this cylinder head and how these cams are set up in this engine. So we look at the configuration of this cylinder head, all right? This cylinder head, these cams, okay, are gonna sit right up on top of the buckets again, all right? And so consequently, we've got spring tension pushing up against a cam, so uh, all the tension on the cam bearings really isn't down on that side. It's really on this top side of the valve cover. Let's get down to measuring some of these buckets, okay? So the one thing we need to remember is, obviously, we've got, you know, uh, you know two exhaust valves for each cylinder, all right? And then if we had all the buckets in here, also, the valves we're, you know, attempting to open are going to be lifting up on the cam. So the easiest way to know that you're getting this right, and the beauty of it is, we don't have to tighten and you know loosen anything. These Volvos are actually super easy to adjust, you know, the clearances on these things. So let's do the first one. So anyway, we've got we already did our um, already did our intake cam, already measured all the intake clearances, and we got them all ready to go down here. So I checked and measured, and Essentially what we're doing is, I showed you guys we're going to pre-measure all the buckets, okay? 
and then we're going to measure it and if we have to make an adjustment we have to find another lifter that's going to you know suit the bill fortunately i have another one of these uh 2.5 heads and i measured a whole bunch of them and i just basically trade in so if i get to pick up the clearance i have to put another one that's thicker so ones that i have that are spares <clears throat> I'll measure them and I'll write the measurement right on top. So I got to do a little bit of simple math, okay? But it's really a piece of cake. So let's uh, measure the clearance on the first one. So anyway, <clears throat> this can be clamped down, <clears throat> but it's really pushing, you know, again, the springs are pushing the, you know, trying to push up on the cam when it's doing its thing. So our bearing surface in the valve cover is what is clamping the cam down in this case. So gravity should be good enough on the clearance. We talked about what the proper feel is. So... I don't get crazy. I, I watch people doing valve adjustments sometimes and I see them kind of clicking when they're coming out or popping and it seems like too much. So I just kind of bump them in there and see if this one's pretty easy. So <clears throat> this one I'm a little bit concerned with because I don't have any that really feel tight. So I'm thinking I got a little, I'm a little heavy on the clearance here. So this is our range is uh, 0.37 millimeters to 0.43 millimeters. Here's my 0.432 millimeter. And honestly, I'm just starting to feel drag. I could probably let it go like that, but let's go up a little bit. So let's go up to a uh, 0.457. Okay, and let's see how close that one is. Yeah, that one still fits. So I got a little concern there. So <clears throat> I know I need to go with a thicker lifter. Let's double check this measurement. Right at about 16.1 now. So I'm thinking I want to try and find a lifter that is like a 16.2 and see what that clearance looks like. So let's see if we can find a 16.2 or anything more than a 16.1. We had a clearance here that we didn't have enough lifter to get it tightened up. Okay. So <clears throat> we can't make a thicker lifter, but what we can do is make this valve recess up into the head a little farther, and then the stem will come up. So the uh, little dirty trick I'm gonna pull, uh, I can only do because I happen to have an old valve grinding machine in the garage. It's an old quick way. And uh, I'm sure that uh, the shop that it came out of this was probably a pretty tired machine that was less than perfect. And if you were doing production, you wouldn't want to have to monkey around with the adjustments the way that I do to make this thing work. So I'm just using it out of convenience. If I just got to dress up one little valve, get a little clearance worked out, it's really the perfect device because I can do that real quick. So we're going to just uh, take a real quick kiss off of this valve and uh, we'll take a quick look at that. So I'll get this valve in there. Now we've got beautiful, beautiful valve seat now. So it is nice to have a machine like this in the, in the garage. So we uh, ground the face of our valve. So we recess the valve up into that seat a little bit more and that should close our clearance up. All right, so <clears throat> we had our 16.1 and we couldn't find a thick enough puck to make up the difference. All right, we were, uh, we were just too loose before. Okay, so uh, we cut a little bit off the face of the valve so that the 
you know, valve would recess a little bit higher up and bring that stem up. So after we did that, now we went to the 0.38. So our smallest is 0.37, okay, up to a 0.43. So this 0.38 is pretty much our smallest and it's a, it's a bump, it's not moving, it's too tight. So now we'll go down to a thinner puck, all right? So since that's 0.1, okay, and 16.1, uh, and um, I got to get it, you know, I got to get a little bit more space. We're going to go down to like a 16.02. So we're going to drop 0.8 millimeters and see what we get. So put that back there for now. Let's drop the 16. 0.02 in there. Make sure it seats. You can hear that it seats. Get the toe exactly, you know, away from the inner base circle. All right. And we'll go to that same one, 0.381. And man, sure enough, we got some clearance. Let's uh Let's go up to the next one, which be a 0 0.406 bump, too tight. So that is a nice snug adjustment, just right. So I'll just come over here for reference and I'm going to go ahead and I'll cross this out, adjust it, then we got a 16.02. And put a check mark. We are ready to go on that one. That's the basic gist of it. And then we'll do one more real quick and see what we get. That one ends up just about perfect. It's a uh, 0.381. So we are ending up with some exhaust valves that the clearance is on the snug side, which is what I prefer. Makes for a quiet engine, get the maximum amount of lift, but yet we have enough clearance that when the parts heat up and expand, we still have an adequate clearance. And that's why we're seeing such larger clearance values for the exhaust side than the intake side, just because it's getting hotter.